What's going on guys? Kit Bash here. Bring you another video. This time it is of the Aquaman custom I did a while ago. I recently made some uh, revisions to this custom. I wasn't happy with the head choice and the body was too pale and it was it was kind of like three different colors. So um it's now it's two different colors because I didn't even paint in between the, the wraps, but that's another story. <laughs> um I wanted to make some modifications to the custom I had already made. It was all right the way it sat, but I really wanted to make him look like Aquaman. And my vision in my head, that's why I chose this torso. Um, well, actually, I got it from Ace Outlaw Customs. He made one and it made me want to make one too, but it, wanted, it made me want to make one a different way. So when I saw his, uh, the vision popped in my head to make the Justice League uh, Unlimited style Aquaman. I, I really like that Aquaman with the hook hand. And um, he just looked like he was a badass. You know, he wasn't goofy. He wasn't joking. He was just a serious badass, and I liked it. So uh, nothing wrong with the new style they take on Aquaman. I don't know if it's in the comics. I don't read a lot of Aquaman comics. I don't read any Aquaman comics. But the Aquaman from the movies is kind of silly. He jokes a lot. He plays a lot. And I just like the serious tone of the Justice League Unlimited Aquaman. So that was my vision for this one. Um. I will put cards and links to the ooh, I'll put cards and links to the other video so you guys can see what it looked like before. Matter of fact, I'll throw a picture up too so you guys can see that. Let me get closer. I'll throw a picture up right right next to this one so you guys can see uh you know the before and after, so to speak. Should I do the before on the on the left then? I'll put a picture on the left right here so you guys can see. But yeah, um I had this century head sitting in my fodder bin. I had I planned on using it before, but it was before I actually sculpted it. Um, I recently like sculpted my first beard and hair on a figure, which will be, uh, it'll be a review either before or after this one. We'll see. But I wanted to take a stab at it on a, on a, a different way, like a goatee. The other beard I did is a full beard. This is just a goatee. See if I can get closer. Let me pop the head off. This is just a goatee I did. Um, you know, that Aquaman from the cartoon has a goatee. So I wanted to, let me see. No, it's not going to stay. I wanted to emulate what I saw, you know? I really wanted him to have that same stern face look. There we go. I really wanted him to have a stern look on his face. Is that focused? I don't think it is. Focus, camera. Give me one second. No. There we go. I wanted him to have a stern look on his face. Uh, just a serious, you know, not jokingly looking face. I wanted him to be stern and, and, uh, I really liked the way the century head looked. I actually had an extra one, like I was saying, I had an extra in my father bin, but I had spilled paint on the face, like this side. And, um, well, I was doing something with that century body. I don't know what I was doing, but yeah, I wanted to switch it up. The other head was too, like Thorish. Literally everybody thought it was Thor. So I wanted to switch it up. Uh, the century head came out good. I used the water slide decals, like I mentioned in my thing video. These Archer Fine Transfer decals are amazing. Let's see if I can get the name. There we go. The Archer Fine Transfer detail, uh, decals. Uh, the website, uh, I'll put a link to the, the website's actually right there too. But I'll put a link in the description to the website. Um, their stuff's awesome. I love it. Uh, it. It really expedites the process on doing eyes because I know eyes are like, really tedious to paint especially in small areas uh this was really hard for me to get the eyes into but once i got them in there i i uh once once i got them in position i let them dry and i put some mod podge over them and they're pretty legit i messed up on the what is this his left my right his left i messed up on that one because i the tweezers kind of took some of the material off but they're so small in there you i mean if you can see it you can tell that there's two eyes in there the beard is sculpted like i said I used Av's epoxy sculpt. I used Av's epoxy sculpt. I had to repaint the hair because I used acetone to take some the other paint off. Because I spilled paint on the original head. So I used acetone to uh, take the paint off. And I just ended up taking off a lot of the other yellow paint that was already on here. I mixed up a gold. It was gold, yellow, and tan. Or wood color from Model Masters. It was gold from Vallejo. Was it gold and yellow? No, gold from Model Masters, yellow from Vallejo, and wood from Model Masters as well. Mixed those all up. Uh, I did more yellow, a little bit of tan, and 
a little bit of gold, more gold than I would have liked, but I really like the way it painted, so I was cool with it. Like, if you can see, I don't know why I put the head back on the body. Let me see. Where'd that thing go? There we go. You can see the hair is like, it has a really shimmery gold look to it. And to me, it was perfect because, you know, Aquaman's supposed to be a king. So I figured, well, he's not supposed to be. He is the king of Atlantis. I figured him having shimmery hair would be fine. Um, it was kind of cool, too, because the goatee came out just a little bit darker than the hair. I didn't paint the eyebrows. They were already yellow from Century. But the goatee came out a little bit darker than the hair. I don't know if it's because of the sculpt. Because I painted it. I don't think I painted. I think I painted. Did I paint yellow first? I don't remember. I don't even remember, honestly. I know I had to put two coats of that yellow on here. That gold yellow versus the hair. Because the sculpt came out. The sculpt's white. So um, I had to put a couple coats on there. But it came out darker than the, darker than the hair. And if you've seen. Pretty sure you've seen a beard before. Most people's beards aren't the same color as their hair. So it kind of worked out. Like I really liked the way it came out. I actually liked the really liked the way I sculpted it too. Like I I don't even know like I just I'm new at sculpting. Like you you'll see in my in my other video with like how I when I fully sculpted my first time it came out pretty legit, but very new to sculpting and I got to say in small in small amounts I like it. But yeah, I put the eyes in there, painted the goatee, I actually repainted the face too. This face was kind of messed up. I really hope it's focused. I can't. I can't see much because of my. I have a privacy screen protector and my phone's tilted. Well, the way I'm looking at it is tilted, so it's kind of dark. But um, I really like the way this face came out. Even with the paint on there, the dirt on there is fine. It's not really dirt. It's just like dark. I don't know why the face came out so dark. But yeah, this is the Hercules upper torso, and I went on kind of weird. Hercules upper torso. Uh. I don't even know who's low. Oh, these are young Thor's lower legs. And then these are Namor's, uh, naked Namor's lower legs right here. So thighs are from young Thor. Calves and feet are from naked Namor. I really like the way this body came out. Um, for the skin tone, it's actually crazy because I bought, I didn't even know Model Masters made a skin tone. Skin tone warm. Uh, what is it? Yeah, skin tone warm tint. Didn't know they made a skin tone. It's actually very pink. If you can see that, it's kind of pink. It's like a, like not pig pink. Is pig pink is kind of like really pale, but it's it's not as dark as I would like it to be. But the using this as a base for skin tones is awesome because all you'd have to do is add browns. If you want to go a little bit darker, like I did here, I just put a little bit of, I put a little uh, uh, Model Masters leather in this, and it really makes a, a solid skin tone color. So yeah, this is this is a skin tone warm tint from Model Masters Acrylics. I found this at Hobby Lobby. I get all my paints at Hobby Lobby. Um, I mixed that with some brown, a little bit of tan just to like even it out. And um, it came out really sick because this guy's really pale. Let me see if I can find a fist. Is this his fist? Yeah. If you can see the color difference there, um, I hope you can. This fist is way more pale than the body. So it, it just really, it really put a, a tan look to him. And I really liked the way it came out, especially when I painted because I was trying to use acetone to take the hair off the body. Hercules has hair on his, I think from his belly button up to his chest. And um, the acetone was acting weird with this plastic. So um, I'm glad I was able to mix up a skin tone, a tan skin tone at that. Because I, like I said, I figure Aquaman's a beach dude. Of course, he's in the water all the time. But he wouldn't be pale. I don't think he'd be pale anyway. Um, so yeah, I wanted to mix up a, a skin tone. And I think I nailed it with that. I painted the lower legs too. I sculpted. You can kind of see on some of them. You can kind of see on all of them, actually. I uh, cut the wings off and sculpted there. I got a blemish right there. I got a fix. But I cut the wings off the feet. I was going to leave them, but they just weren't looking right. It was, it was, everything was looking weird about the original one. So I'm glad I was able to switch it up. Really like the way this one came out. Uh, I made the custom hook. Like I said, I'll put a, I'll put a card and links to the other video in the description. Um, custom hook I made, painted. This figure is, is really sick. Like uh, I didn't even I should have brought Black Manta down here so you can see it next to Black Manta. I'll probably put a picture of it. But this figure is dope. I, I really I've been looking at it all week. I just made it last week. I've been it's been, been in my hand all week. I've been messing with it all week. It's just dope. Uh like, comment, subscribe. If you've been on my Instagram, you've seen this already. I post there mostly. I gotta get back into my YouTube swing. Um but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Any questions, hit me up, and I'm out.